<laughs> hey, you never know what's going to happen at Randyland. I'll concentrate as soon as you throw me a question. Randyland is a house of joy. I started Randyland actually in 1996. When I bought this building, I bought this building for $10,000 on a credit card. Oh, so this is Andy, this is Randy. What? That's right. So this is the most painted house they say in Pittsburgh. A lot of people say the most painted house on the East Coast United States of America. Actually, I'll tell you one more thing. I just got an uh, email just the other day. Um, the 15 best kept secrets all of Pennsylvania, right? Randy Land is the number one best kept secret all of Pennsylvania. How did Randy Land start? I was born in 1957. My name is Randall Leroy Gilson. Over here, this is my favorite piece. I found this sewage pipe. They were $15 a piece. And I was going to make planters out of these sewage pipes. And I was going to put them outside my house. And then I started painting them one winter. And the more I painted, the more I thought. And the more I thought, the more they taught me. And the more they taught me, the more I questioned who I was. What were they supposed to be? How was I going to evolve these? These were not just sewage pipes anymore. This was like a giant journey. And I got so excited. And I have like all these faces and eyes and smiles and ears and hair. And so I thought, wow, there was magic in this stone. The stone was on the roof and it came from the ground. So in between all of that was the evolution of energy of mankind, the journey of us. I touched one one day and all of a sudden, they, caught, they started talking to me. Let me out, there's something in here. Do something, save me, show me. And all of a sudden, I took my paintbrushes and I started painting. They taught me to bake hair. They taught me to make a nose. They taught me to write a word, climb. They taught me to decide who I was, to open my mind. Aha, what shall I call these? I'm gonna call these thinker earth. Is that a word? Is it in a dictionary? How do you describe what a thinker er is? Aha, that's a very good question. You think, you think, you think, you think, you think, you think. A lot of people think. When we think together, collectively, we are thinker errs. This is the Thinker Project. I hope you like it. There was this actress, um, Laura Pitchforth. She said, live, love, laugh, and cry. It's all mind games. I don't believe in any of that. I believe, Randy Land believes, live, love, laugh, and play. Live, love, laugh, and play. Not cry. Why cry? Play, be happy, be joyful, be inspired. Get excited about every day. So reach out, find your journey, find your day, find your art. I found that by me thinking like this, I can't stop. 57 years old, people think I'm 40. They ask me, what's the secret of my success? Smile, man, smile, nice. <laughs> So when I built this park, I just came down here kind of as a rebel activist. And I put all these stones here, and I put all these plants here. And I went ahead, and I had a painting party. And it was way up the street in one somebody's backyard. And we painted all these houses. And then in one day, we hurried up, and we put them all up on the wall. And then, like I said, I disappeared from the neighborhood. Because I knew that the neighborhood was a historic community, and that they didn't always approve of all of the artists. Well, we won. The park is still here, and I won an award. So don't stop your dreams. Your dreams are valuable. They're gifts forward to one other. So one another needs your gifts. Pass your gifts. Sometimes you can do it on paper. Sometimes you do it 
as a rebel, as an activist, we all have gifts. This is my gift to our community. The Randy Land Project is actually an incubator of gathering as many dreams and as many thoughts and as many gifts that have been gifted to me and re-gift them. Re-gift them to you and you and you and you and you. That's the Randy Land Project. Done.